Hey, and welcome to today's video. This is where you start your day in an intentional way, knowing that you create your day, you create your life. And every moment and every day, that's how you're creating your day. It can only be created in the moment. And we worry sometimes so much about what happened in the past. The past is over, right? And we may worry about the uncertainty of the future, then focus on what if, what if, the negativity of it, right? So the thing is, is that that's probably what we're going to create. So what we think about, what we talk about, what we ask God's source universe, what we focus on, right? All of that expands. So it's a practice and an awareness and a co being conscious and mindful as you go through your day to notice what you're focusing on, where your focus is, because you need to be focusing on what you desire, not repeating, repeating, repeating the same day, day after day, the same year, year after year, especially if you're not happy there, right? Okay, the card I pulled for today is um, from the Seven Energies Oracle deck by Colette baron Reed, And it is number 12, Bearing Fruit. And the message from this card is, if your life were a tree, I don't like that part. What fruit, fruit would it bear? No, no, no. Envision the results of the efforts you put into achieving your dreams and desires in partnership with the divine. Can you see the way you think, feel, and believe reflected in the material world? Whatever you have in your world right now, whatever is in your reality, the way that you're living your life, the things that are in your life, the people that are in your life, the situations you are in is all the reflection of you. And that can seem like, no, but that's not true. <laughs> it's all the reflection of your, for one, beliefs. And lo remember, lots of times these beliefs are subconscious, unconscious. We don't know that we actually, we're not consciously aware day to day that we actually do believe them. Um, and that could be things like, I'm not worthy of blank, right? I'm not worthy of a better relationship. I'm not worthy of uh, a job that I really want to do. I'm not worthy of whatever, right? That's an unconscious belief. We could have started thinking that when we were really little, little kids, we got that into, I'm not good enough for that. I'm not good enough. Um, something's wrong with me. I realized a while ago that I had this deep unconscious belief that I can't be fixed. Something's wrong with me and no one can fix me. Isn't that crazy? I did not conscious, I wasn't consciously aware of that at all. But that's what came up when I did inner child work and when it worked and when I was, when I still am working on my limiting beliefs. So these are the things that run your life and are reflected in your life. So it's so good to get to get be bring these up into awareness so we can look at it and decide differently, right? Decide differently. There's always a correlation between what you see, what you expect to see, what you expect you get, what you intend consciously and what you project unconsciously. So you could intend, I'm going to, I'm going to for sure take action on this. I'm going to start eating better. I'm going to go to the gym. You could, we could intend all those things. But if deep down and unconsciously we believe that that I'm never going to follow through, I'm somebody who doesn't follow through, I'm somebody who will probably never be able to lose weight or because I stress each, you know, I'm never going to stick with anything. I'm just that type of a person. All of those things are actually what guides us are actually what rules things for us. And this is the type of work I do in my coaching, right? I help you uncover and see these things consciously and we help to change things for you because man, those things hold you back and trying to figure it out on your own. We usually don't see what is behind everything, but someone like me who can look at you and listen to you and hear you objectively can usually pick it out in one phone call. It's really amazing what's been holding you back. And then we start to reframe things and you start to take different action and you start to work on identity, right? So that's the message I really wanted to talk about here is um, it's kind of like bearing fruit. The things we think like we are bringing about our life every minute because we are constantly in creation we're constantly in manifestation we are always manifesting our life we're excellent manifestors it's just that oh i'm not consciously manifesting i'm continually manifesting the same things because my focus tends to be on the same things and if your focus is on more about what you're unhappy with well then you're just going to get more of it and that is kind of what said it says in the reading we're doing today in the parallel universes of self. 
It is how you react to the old reality, which determines how long it will take for your new identity to be reflected out there in your material world, right? Fighting what you don't want is the same thing as agreeing with it. Because it continues, what you focus on comes to be. What you focus on and declare over and over again stays in your reality. So the more you're saying, this is the way my life is now, I don't like it, but this is the way it is. There is nothing I can do about it. I don't know what I can do about it. Oh my God, do you see the way things are? You're just confirming and affirming over and over and over again that this is the fact, this is truth. So it's going to be that way. Things are not going to change from that point of view, from that thought process. You need to change your thought process and your words and your focus for sure, right? It's always about focusing on um, once you know what you want, you dive into it and begin at the end again. So your focus is on the desire, what you're desiring to create, what you want. I now choose. So it can be like, you don't want to be, well, I'm not a millionaire. How can I say I'm a millionaire? No, it's like I'm choosing to believe that abundance is everywhere. I'm choosing to believe that I deserve huge amounts of abundance in my life, right? We start with these different phrases and these different thoughts that are in kind of neutral, that feel good, right? That feel good that we can get into and, and believe in this more abundance around us and get the focus off what we don't want. Get the focus off what you don't want. And that's um, when you hear people saying surrender or I release it or I'm breaking the patterns, things like that, or um, I'm shifting beliefs, or I'm rewiring my subconscious. Or I'm... When you hear things like that, it's basically getting your mind off what you don't want and focusing on what you do want, getting really clear, getting really clear on what you want, right? And then every time you feel yourself go back, because you will, and I still do, oh my God, here I am focusing, I'm agitated and frustrated about what I don't like right now when this is and I'm constant focus, right? So this for me is weather. When the weather takes a turn for the worse in the middle of summer, excuse me, it's still summer. I wish someone would tell us that in Vancouver, that it's still freaking summer. Tell out there, we need, <laughs> we need warm weather. <laughs> I will focus on that, right? I'll be like, oh my God, why is it so cold? Oh my God, what if it's cold for the next three weeks? What if we, this is the end of summer and we never get hot weather again, right? <laughs> like, I will just focus. <laughs> That's not what you want to do, but we can be aware when we're doing that. It's a habit. It's a pattern. It's the way I've lived my life, my whole life, right? Up until a few years ago was constantly noticing what was wrong and being agitated and frustrated by it, right? So this is a big change. And uh, I mean, it's so much more amazing focusing and being in a more positive state of mind because you're constantly knowing you can shift your focus, right? Because you are the one in charge. You are the one in charge of you. You get to determine how you feel every day. You get to determine how life feels and is experienced by you. That's a choice. That's your choice. All right, have an absolutely amazing day. And if you are like, oh, wow, I could sure use some of those mind shifts that change because I want to begin to feel more. I talk about inner freedom, inner joy. Like it's all about inner freedom because <clears throat> the freedom on the outside, that one we can feel like I don't know how to change it, right? I don't know how to change something right now, but it's always starts with the inside. And when you feel that, <clears throat> inner freedom and how much freedom you have over yourself, that's where true freedom lies. And that will begin to show up in outer freedom outside of you. All right. So feel free to reach out to me, dianamarchand.com. You can find my website. Um, comment below. Find me on Facebook, Diana Marchand. And don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like. Share this video for anybody you think would like it. I would love to know that you've watched. Thank you so much. And until the next video, bye.